So I've been using a ton of different filament brands, filament types, you name it, in my 3D printers. There's one brand that I've just kind of not really used a lot of their filament, but I've used a lot of their products, and that is Sunlu. Well, it just so happens Sunlu reached out and asked me if I would be willing to try some of their filaments and one of their filament holders. And of course I was like, yeah, I love your filament dryer, so, you know, let's see, let's see what your filament's like. So I was fortunate enough for them to send me three different filaments and a filament holder. So I've got, let's see, we've got a, what looks to be a gray here. We also have a yellow and we've got a orange-ish color. Let's get them out of the packaging and see what they look like. Right off the bat, I can tell you one thing I really like about this filament as I'm opening it up is the fact that it is a plastic spool. I understand that's a little more wasteful and they're a little bit harder to get rid of, but keeps you from having to use AMS adapters when you're putting it in your Bamboo Lab AMS. Come on. This yellow is almost like a pastel yellow. I kind of like that. It's not like really in your face. Oh, I said this was orange, but this is actually a multicolored filament. How cool is that? Oh, I love the fact too, I'm just realizing that they actually ship the little filament clips with it. So you can, you know, attach it on the side when you're not using it. Very thoughtful Sun Lu, I love that. Not to mention these bags are reusable even though I've been destroying them. So if you want to reuse this bag, it looks like you can as long as you can tear off the top part here. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, yeah, so this bag's totally reusable. Oh my gosh, this multicolored filament is so cool. Look at that. That is really awesome. It looks like it has some pink, some orange, maybe some blues in it. Really excited to give this a try. So I'm gonna get all my filament clips out of these bags here. And just so anyone that's genuinely curious on how this works, this kind of clips on the side. There you go, there you go. You can see what it looks like. So you can just clip your filament there on the side, but we're not gonna need that. So I'm gonna do some test printing with these two. I'm actually gonna try to use them together in the AMS on a project. And we'll use this one on the Ender 3 V3 Plus. Make something really cool, kind of big maybe. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, I almost forgot. We should take a look at the filament holder as well before we get to printing. I think this will be a good little addition to use with a like a Cartesian printer or a Core XZ, I think is what they're calling them now. Uh, but, ooh, I love, this is way better quality than I thought it was going to be. This is made out of metal here. So you guys can see it has bearings. So essentially you would set your roll on this. So something like that there. And then it's just gonna naturally move as you print. This is a really good option, especially for these printers that that you have sitting on the side, uh, or excuse me, the filament is sitting on the side like the Ender 3 V3 Plus. They came up with a solution to use that on their printers, but I don't think it's necessarily the best. So this is a good alternative. One thing too about this that I wanna note is as you can see, this is all metal. This is expandable. So you can literally expand this to whatever size width your your filament roll is. Very nice touch, Sunlu. Wow, this is, this is, this is cool. For sure, this is cool. They also included in the bag this hardware here. If you have a Ender 3 with like the extruded or extrusion aluminum rails on top, you can actually mount this on top of your printer by using the little holes here on the bottom. This is cool. This is really cool. So let's get this new filament holder set up as well as the filaments in the AMS and the Ender 3 V3 Plus and get to printing. So we have some test prints from these. They're finished and they look good. This is actually just the, the PA test that I did with the Silk PLA, but I thought it looked cool. I don't know, I really like how these colors mesh together on this roll of filament. It just it looks really good. Also, I went ahead and tried to do a two color print with my Fishing Channels logo here. 
turned out good. This this at the top is actually my fault, but you can see the adhesion between the PLA and PL or high speed PLA uh, is really good. Works works really well. And the finishes turned out really good. This was printed on a Bamboo Lab uh, X1C, where anything with a silk PLA I printed with uh, the Ender 3 V3 Plus. This is just a basket here. I really like the way these colors look. I just, I feel like they turned out, they turned out really well. Very smooth finish, even on the Creality machine. It's just good quality filament for sure. Now, the first thing I did was print two benches here. I printed one of them in the, the yellow and one of them in the high speed gray. The yellow benchy looks really good. Uh, honestly, there's no, uh, artifacts or de defects a little bit of stringing but you know that's perfectly fine that can be cleaned up very easily turned out really well you can see from the imprint on the bottom to first layer adhesion was great with this pla now this one's a little bit tougher to say because the high speed pla you can see i had a little bit of artifacting and i'm guessing that this is from the pressure advance here i ended up tuning this a little bit in the slicer but I was able to get this resolved in the other print that I did, but you can see like layer adhesion looks great. Overall, really satisfied with the way these filaments turned out. So thanks again to Sunlu for sending out these filaments. I am more than excited to use their filaments again in the future. They seem to have worked great. And the added feature of having a little filament clip was a really nice touch. If you guys are interested in picking up anything from Sunlu, whether it be the filaments or the filament holder, you can check it out in the links below. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. We'll see you next time.